In this video, we're going to talk about secant lines. Now, we're going to start with a function curve because secant lines only work with function curves. Now, here is a function curve. All right, now do you remember all my discussions about functions? All right, now we're going to draw a line through two points on this function curve. The first one is 8 and 2, x being 8, y equaling 2, and the other one is 11 and 7, x being 11, y being 7. Okay, so we have this line that passes through 11, 7, and 8 and 2, and because it's a straight line, and it's passing through a curve, it's called a secant line. Now, how do you figure out the slope of this? Well, we start out with the simple slope equation. Do you remember that one? Where we had y subscript 2 minus y subscript 1 divided by x subscript 2 minus x subscript 1. Well, we're going to replace the y with the f of x. Remember, this is a function, so it's not going to be y equaling mx plus b. It's going to be the f of x equaling mx plus b. Okay? So, the first thing you're going to have here is instead of y, you're going to have the f of x plus h minus the f of x, and then you're going to have... Um, x plus h minus x down here. All right, now x plus negative x equals zero. So therefore, the real final equation is going to be the f of x plus h minus the f of x divided by h. And that is your secant line equation. All right, I'm going to tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.